Hello and welcome! This is Tracy, and in this video I'll walk you through how to set up a Hagal node on Amazon Web Services free tier. You won't even need to buy a domain, so all the setup today will be completely free. If you don't already have an AWS account, please pause this video and create one now at portal.aws.amazon.com. You'll create a root user account and choose the free plan. Note that AWS will ask you for a credit card when you sign up, but the free tier is enough to run one Hagal node on, and you won't be charged for the first 12 months. If you run more than one node, you'll exceed the free tier limits. Now that you have an AWS account, let's log in. In the top right corner of the console, you can choose your preferred region. Now we'll go to EC2. It's here in my console home because I've been using it, but if you don't see it, you can find it here in Services and then Compute. We'll go straight to Launch Instance. Give it a name. And here, make sure you choose Amazon Linux 2 AMI HVM. Make sure your instance type says Free Tier Eligible. For the key pair, you can create a new one. Give it a name and click Create Key Pair. You won't technically need this unless you want to connect to your instance via SSH later on. In the network settings, be sure to select both Allow HTTPS Traffic and Allow HTTP Traffic. This will open ports 443 and 80, so you won't have to do that manually later on. Let's up the storage size to 10 gigs here just in case. It's probably not necessary, but you get up to 30 gigs for free, so why not? Now click on Advanced Details and scroll to the bottom. In the User Data field, we'll add some commands to install Docker and Docker Compose on launch. These will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste them. Go ahead and launch your instance. Once it's done, open the instance and view the summary. Down here in the Security tab, you should see ports 443 and 80 already open in the inbound rules. If you forgot to check Allow HTTPS and HTTP Traffic during the setup, you can click on that Security Group link and edit the inbound rules to allow traffic to those ports. Port 22 is for SSH, which we'll need to connect to the instance. Now let's copy the public IPv4 address of the instance and set up the domain. If you have your own domain already, feel free to use that and just create an A record in your DNS settings for a subdomain that points to the public IP address you just copied. But if you don't already have your own domain, you can get a free one from duckdns.org. There are a few different sign-in options. I'll use Google for this. Create a new domain. Paste the IP address here and click Update IP. Now let's go back to the EC2 instance and connect to it. Once we're in, the first thing to do is to verify that Docker and Docker Compose are both installed correctly. We'll do this with the commands docker-v and docker-compose-v. Next, let's download the Docker Compose file from the Hagal repo. Again, all these commands are in the description below, so just copy and paste this. Then edit it with the nano command. Go back to DuckDNS or wherever you set up your subdomain and copy the domain. Scroll down and replace the example URL with your domain for virtual host. Let's encrypt host and hoggle public endpoint. Be sure to keep the HTTPS prefix on the last one. You should also remember to add your Ethereum wallet address to hoggle wallet ADDR. Press Ctrl O to write out, meaning to save it, and then Ctrl X to exit. Now run the command docker compose up dash D. If you did everything correctly, you should be all set now. To verify, we can check the logs. We'll do this with the command docker logs dash F to follow it live hagal. 
you should see Hoggle is successfully registered to HDS and 0x smoke messages, which are the health checks. Congratulations! Your Hoggle node is now up and running. If something went wrong, please join us on Discord and we'll try to help you out in the Hoggle chat channel. There will be a link to Discord in the description. Even if nothing went wrong, please join our Alki community anyway, we would love to have you. And that wraps up this tutorial. Thank you so much for participating in the Pose Mesh.